Hello and welcome to MyMiniMaths.co.uk video tutorials. And today we're going to be rounding numbers to the nearest 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, 100,000 and we're even going to have a look at rounding to a million as well. And for today's tutorial we're going to actually have a look at the different options on whether we round a number down or whether we round it up and we see which one it's closest to. Above all, this is an excellent uh, opportunity to practice place value and your understanding of how the numbers are made up. And first of all, on to question one, which is 7,576. And we're going to round this to the nearest 10. So the first thing we need to do is we need to have a look at the different columns. So we have our units, our tens, our hundreds, and last of all, our thousands. And the question is asking us to round it to the nearest 10, which is the second column from the right. And we can have a look at our different options. So if I was to round this number down, it would be 7,570. There's my whole 10 rounded down. If I was to round it up, it'd be 7,500 and 80. There's my whole 10 again after it's been rounded up. And we need to decide which one is it closest to. Is it closest to 7,570 or 7,580? Now, as we can see, the six is four away from making it 7,580, and if we have to take six off to take it down to 7,570, therefore, it's closest to 7,580. And next, we're on to question two. Now, question two is 8,553. And we're going to be rounding it to the nearest 100. So again, we need to look at the different columns. We have our units, our tens, our hundreds, and our thousands. And we're going to be rounding it to the nearest 100, which is this column here. So, this can either be rounded to the nearest 500, or... 600 as 553 here comes between these two whole hundreds. And we need to decide which one it is closest to. So if we look at the full number of 8,500 and 8,600, we can highlight the 53 and we can say, well, this is over halfway, which would be 8,550. The three takes it over halfway, so it's closest to 8,600. And next we're on to question three. Okay, which is 16,109. And we're going to be rounding it to the nearest 1,000. So, our first task is to identify the correct column. So, units, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands this time. And we're going to be rounding it to the nearest thousand, which is this column here. And as I'm sure you've seen and heard already, there are so many different ways that we can round numbers. Uh, a very popular way is to have a little look at the number or the digit next to the column we are looking to round. And in this case, it's a one. Now, what we can look at are all the options. So we've got zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. These are all the different possible digits it could be. And what we can do is if this digit next to the column we're looking to round is either a zero, a one, a two, a three, or a four, 
we keep our number down. If our number next to the column we're looking to round is a 5, 6, 7, 8 or a 9, then we look to round it up to the next digit. So in this case, because it's a 1, which is here, it rounds down, so we keep the 6 as it is to give us a final answer of 16,000. And as we can see, the 6 in the thousands column has stayed the same, and we've created this whole thousand here, which is what it asked us to round it to. And next we're on to question four, which is 546. And we're going to be rounding it to the nearest 1,000. So we have our units, our tens and our hundreds and our thousands here. Now, there's nothing in the thousands column, so we need to place a zero in there. So you can still see we have five hundreds, four tens for 40, and six units. And we're looking to round it to the nearest thousand, which is here. And we're going to look next door at the digit next door. Now, if we, we remember from the previous question, if it's a zero, a one, a two, a three, or a four, our number rounds down or stays the same. If it's a five, a six, a seven, eight, or a nine, then our number rounds up. And as we can clearly see, in this case, it's a five, which is here. So it rounds the number up. So the zero becomes a one. And then we place our zeros to give it the full whole 1,000, which is what the question asked for. Thank you very much for listening today, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.